Hi everybody, I'm Brandon Henschel and welcome to Tip Tuesday. We're here at the studio and this is Haley. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to show you guys this little, I don't even know what the exact name is. I've been doing it my whole life. It's like this Capoeira kick. B-Boys have been doing it for decades. Um, we do it here at the studio. So we're going to show you guys how to do this Capoeira kick. Basically, it's a one-arm handstand and you grab your leg and you pull your leg all the way over just like that. Now, Haley's been practicing this. She doesn't have it down quite yet. So this is a really good example of how to work it in with the kids and try and get them to do it. So, okay, so Haley's gonna put her right arm down. She's gonna go to the right side. And basically what you wanna do is, this is one of the biggest mistakes that uh, people usually make, is when they go to put their hand down, they reach too far away. And so you're jumping on that shoulder and you're already off balance. You wanna get yourself on balance really easily by just taking that arm and putting it right by your foot. So when you go down, your, your hands are gonna go right there by your foot, okay? Here's an easy way to spot the kids as they do it. Put my hand, hold it tight, nice and tight. Okay, so I'm gonna hold her up like this so she doesn't fall over in case her leg goes behind her or something. She's gonna put this arm right down by her foot. She's gonna take that left leg and she's basically just gonna do a bot mash. She's gonna take that leg and just go whack and kick the side of her head. All right, go ahead and stand up. Ready, and go. Beep, good. Okay, so that's a little one. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna get them to open up their hip because when you go to kick, a lot of times what happens is this happens, you got a nice sickled foot and a nice closed hip. It's all really bad. Pretend like it's an actual butt mop. Rotate the hip, turn it out. Don't point your foot though, but don't sit right? <laughs> <laughs> Rotate your hip, open that hip. That's gonna give you more range of motion to get that leg all the way over. You can't do anything if you're here. You gotta open up that leg. So you can get it all the way over. So I'm gonna hold you up. Try it one more time. Bam! That was better. Okay. Now here's another thing you can do. You're gonna hold yourself up now, okay? You got it? Maybe. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> Alright, so when she takes that leg over, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna help put her in the position she needs to be in so she can feel what it feels like. Ready? Go. Right here? Okay, bend that knee. There you go. Now don't arch your back. There you go, this way. Right there. There you go, okay. <laughs> and then you can just yank them back up. So you could tell that her leg, when it was going over, she was arching her back. So her leg was going behind her head. That's gonna throw you off balance. You wanna make sure that that foot gets right in front. Try one time. There you go. Right in front, bam! There you go. <laughs> when you take their leg and you kind of pull it over, it helps them balance, helps them get right up on top of that shoulder. Also make sure you're pushing through the shoulder as much as you can. Great job. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed Tip Tuesday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, youtube.com slash Brennan Henshaw from all of us here at the studio. Peace.